Alrighty, here we go again. Let's try this one more time. I'm learning how to make videos. It's an uh, interesting little uh, adventure. It's uh, using KDN Live to uh, create uh, art, online art, you know, my website, create some content for my website. I made this video of uh, driving downtown Seattle, riding, riding the bus to downtown Seattle. I um, kind of messed up the audio, so you know I'm kind of having to delete all the audio from the sound, you know, the soundtrack from the bus ride. But that's all right, I guess. You know, because I wanted to tell the story about this anyway, and it's all about there's a couple different stories in this story, and the one is about making videos. It's uh, you know, it's. It's a very pretty complicated puzzle. Um, I like it. It's a uh, the one thing I'm kind of dealing with right now is the sound. You know, for one thing, my voice. You know, I want to try to talk in a low voice. You know, not this like squeaky voice. I got a kind of a high pitched squeaky voice, and I don't really like that. But so I got to try to practice talking in a low voice. Uh, so my voice is probably going to be all messed up. I usually forget when I, once I get into the story, I forget and start talking normally. It's probably a lot to do with the, uh, you know, the recorder too. It may, I could probably adjust that a little bit on the recorder. I'm just, I'm learning how to use KDN Live. It's a very complicated, powerful piece of uh, equipment you know, technology that I'm using, learning how to use, and, and I'm using it, and it's fun. Um, I've got uh, all the videos made, and they're on here end to end, and I'm recording, I'm watching them on the KDN Live while I make this audio. I made the audio earlier, one at a time, for each different section, but I it turned out terrible. The audio was really just terrible. And so I'm redoing the whole thing, but I'm doing it all at once. Although the the video is like 48 minutes long. And so this, by putting all this on here, I'm doing it all at once. So it's gonna go 38 minutes and then there's gonna be a, and then it'll restart another video as soon as the first one ends at 20, 38 minutes. And so, the, 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 which is fine, that's not gonna affect anything at all. And so, I'll just add that on there and put everything together. As far as my voice, you know, my the story part of it goes, I don't know, we'll figure it out, we'll see. I'm learning, this is all an experiment. And uh, another thing I'm trying to learn how to do is to look at the camera and not the picture of me, you know, the video on my phone to look at the camera and stay focused on the camera. That's just a habit you got to get into. Um, you know, and uh, I've been thinking about getting on the bus. You know, this is not a very good view right here. So what I want to do is get on the bus the double-decker bus going up to Everett and, and the one going to Tacoma and kind of take a round trip trip on that. I'm not sure I would be able to get the double-decker bus both ways though. I'm, I, I'll have to figure kind of under, figure out what the schedule is on those buses because right, I've ridden on those double-decker buses and you get a really great view. I could just sit on the front seat there and take video the whole time, you know, riding up to Everett and one day go up to Everett and another day go down to Tacoma and just kind of look, you know, take some videos, make videos because that's, I got to create content, you know, I'm creating content for the website and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know, it's, uh, it's got to be interesting. It's got to be valuable. I know I like to watch these videos. I watch videos like riding around in Shanghai or Tokyo, and it's just fascinating. It's like going on a 
you know, it's almost like going there myself, except it's through a camera. It's not as good as going there. I would rather go there, but hopefully one day I'll be able to do it. You know, I mean, I, I you know, I want to, I want this website to be profitable. And so I'm t t working on creating content. You know, I've got lots of time to work on it now, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, you got to, uh, you know, take your pictures, sprinkle your pictures around on your website. You know, you want your website to be an art gallery for your photos, you know. And also not just your photos, but your drawings. You know, you'll be making art with uh, Krita and... Uh, you know, you could make like uh, screen backgrounds, you know, uh, computer desktop backgrounds and uh, give them away or sell them or whatever. You know, mostly you just give them away because it's pretty simple, you know, and just practice making art. And then what I'm trying to encourage people to do is to get, you know, download the the source code for these applications, I mean, you could do KDN Live, but the ones I'm thinking of is Caligra and Contact, the two big office applications for KDE, and start working on improving them and get them so that they're really high performance, home office, you know, personal information management system, one that you can contact, you know, you probably want to uh, host it, you know, on a, a remote server like Linode or something, and so that you can connect to it by phone, you know, anywhere in the world. You can just log into your Linode account, and it would have all your every all your personal information right there, and really easy to get. You it would be kind of you would have at least two full copies of it, one on your desktop computer at home and one on your Linode and that way you could just build your uh, home office based personal information management system and your your uh, local development environment. You know, you build up your local development environment on your home desktop at home and you can build you can build websites by uh, doing that you know, on your on on your on your computer, they're not on the internet. They're on your computer, and you can see them, and you can edit them, and change them, and improve them, and work on them. And you can see the changes while you're making them. You can see, look at open your browser, and you can see the website in your browser, just like you were online. But it's just not online. It's just local. And then, at the end of the day, when you're done making all your changes, you push that up to the live website. And that's what I'm trying to teach you to do. And then another thing you can do with that local development environment is you can work on things like Contact and Caligra and learn, C. the languages I recommend that you learn if you're just new, you start out with C. It's not the easiest language to learn, but start with C and C++. So Linux is written in C primarily, and then KDE is written in C++. And C++ is one of the fastest languages. You know, and, and later on, probably the third language I would pick is Python, but, but that's a, you know, right now I would say focus on C and C++. And then you go to your, um, your, your, what is that, your, uh, C panel, you know, go to Bluehost. You know, I would earn a commission if you went to my website, you know, homeoffice.studio and clicked on the blue one of the Bluehost links and and then bought, you know, an, an account there, Just open an account on Bluehost and do your website there, you know, but there's other options, you know, but Bluehost is the one I liked and they've always done a good job for me. Anytime I've had a few problems, every once in a while I break something, I cut, you know, I get a hold of them usually by t edit, you know, by internet, and they just fix it, you know, in a minute, and it's done. And it's, they solve the problem, and I go on about my business. So I like them. And then uh, you got to learn the C-Panel. You get on that C-Panel, and you look around in there, and you follow the instructions. 
you know later on I'll do more detailed into that but for now just you, you you can get in there don't wait for me get on there and start your website as soon as possible get your Word, WordPress WordPress site you know and and start building a web, website you know the two main tools you're going to be using on that is your C panel and your WordPress back in you know the off back in and you get in there and you go into your your uh, term your WordPress and you do all you can build your website right there you don't know how you don't have to know how to do the command line or any of that stuff just use cpanel and WordPress and build a website and get started building the website you're gonna have to re read and learn and do it and I'll, I'll keep adding more in more detailed information about that as I go because I'm still learning it myself and uh, but you, you get in there and you build a website and then but you keep studying homeoffice.studio it's it's a very valuable very high performance education and I recommend it's very advanced education um, and I highly recommend that you keep going to and learn how to build websites learn how to use your computer and build your holistic home office your own private free enterprise you know I'm not opposed to big business I like that teamwork is a good thing they build things that no small business can build but not everybody thrives in that kind of a culture and some people like to be their own you know create your own free enterprise you know, you're the chief executive officer. Even if you work at an, a, a, a big company, you're still the CEO of your own private enterprise. You know, you're just trading. Your business is working for a big corporation, a bigger business. And that's business to business, you know. But what you, know, I'm teaching you to do is create your own business and build your own free enterprise and keep working on that. And that's kind of what this website is all about. You know, holistic home office is about building your business. When I first did this video on this section right here, I kind of wasn't holding the camera right and it was pointing up in the sky, you know, and that was totally an accident. I didn't do that on purpose. But the funny thing about this, I learned something new about this. All that, I lived in Seattle for nine years and I've gone back, I've walked through this little, Westlake Park, you know, hundreds of times. I've never noticed those balloons up there, man. <laughs> it was just like, wow, check that out, man. Yeah, check out those balloons. But anyway, so it's, a, you know, just neat, you know, little thing. And so it was an accident that I discovered them. I was so busy looking at the people and everything. And then I, like, I, the camera's pointing up in the sky. But I'm walking around downtown Seattle. It's a beautiful city. And I, you know, the most important thing, the two big things I, I say about making cities sustainable is being friendly, you know, friendship, and being a good friend, and Ubuntu, you know, that whole friendly relationship with everybody. And then the other thing is uh, family, you know, family friendly you know you want your cities to be family for and child, child oriented around children raising children and you want the whole city to be go, go, you know oriented around that that has to be like the number one priority and if it's not you're wrong I don't care it, that's just the way it is you know every part of human civilization needs to be family friendly and children oriented and you know designed to protect children there should be no areas that are unsafe for children you know and so we got to work on that and we everybody's got to change and there's no excuse there's no way out of that that's human nature and that will never change you know the divine law of marriage will never change it's a biological order of things you know it's a laws of biology just like there's laws of physics there's laws of biology and you know and laws of psychology 
And one of the distinctive features of the human nature is the, the family. We get married and have kids and raise families, and that's one of the very most important, besides language, you know, language and family are the two things that make humans distinct from the animal kingdom. And um, the one common faith of all mankind is the most important thing of all. And uh, so keep working on making, being an honorable citizen, making the world a better place, you know, in, in, on purpose. It's not an accident. Civilization doesn't happen by accident. It happens on purpose. You know, people intend to create a, a pleasant place to live, a safe, clean, and decent place to live. And um, we have a right to do that. And, and, and it's the whole planet. There's no... Nations are fine, you know, as long as we understand it's, you know, it's not all nations working together and making that one universal and divine civilization. And keep working on that, keep improving it. There's no standing still. There's no like, oh, we're, we're, we're comfortable. You know, we, we don't have to work too hard to make something new because we, it's already, we already got a great civilization. No, you have to improve civilization. Every generation has to improve civilization. Keep working on that. And uh, it's a beautiful neighborhood. This is a brand new. When I first moved to Seattle nine years ago, this was a bunch of old one, two story buildings. Now it's 40 story buildings. You know, that, that you know, uh, Amazon campus right there to the left is, is a, was a hole in the ground when I got here. And um, now it's a 40-story building. All those buildings are brand new, you know. And it's it's neat. It's it's a wonderful place. It's a great neighborhood. Um, and uh, you know, I I encourage you. You know, every city. You know, pick up the trash, clean the trash out, and uh, the city. You know, not just in downtown Seattle, which is important. Keep that clean. But also, like Interstate 5, there's trash everywhere on the ground out there. And we need to get that picked up. You know, hire some of these poor people and pay them to go up there and pick up the trash. And, uh, you know, in, in Seattle, you'd have to come up with some tools because with all the uh, blackberry bushes, you're going to have to figure out some way, like a long tool that you could pick the trash up with, uh, you know, and with or out of those the blackberry bushes, and uh, but you can do it. There's no, I, you know, whatever, you know, and keep the city clean and the whole the whole city, not just part of the city, but the whole entire city, the whole t entire earth. We, you know, human beings are terraforming earth from a wilderness into a garden. And that's a good thing. It's not a terrible thing or anything like that. It's a good thing. And I encourage you to do your fair share. You know, make the world a better place. You know, don't don't litter. Litter is, as far as I'm concerned, was one of the most disgraceful character defects there is. Anybody that would throw a piece of garbage on the ground is just like one of the, a low life, and, and because that's just disgusting. And uh, all these other, you know, we've got to make our our home. This is our home. There's only one earth, you know. We got to clean it up, you know. And we got to, you know. It used to be that it wasn't that big a deal, you know. Like we could eat as all as much as we wanted to. We could hunt and fish and eat as much as we want to. The way things are now, with the, so many people, we have to regulate that. You know, we can't just go out there and vacuum all the fish up. You know, because then what are our kids going to eat? What's, what's the next generation of humans going to eat? We've got to manage it and responsibly. You know, get the best scientists. You know, speaking of scientists, doctors. You know, you know, God bless the doctors. We need doctors. We need them to be smart and and learn how to take care of human beings and stuff like that. But one thing we don't need is doctors telling us, ordering us around. You know, that is just 
one of the most terrible things that's going on right now is the doctors. All of a sudden, there's a virus, and, and it wouldn't be so bad if they were their orders, you know, they're trying to order everybody around. And it, that wouldn't be so bad if their orders were rational, but they're not. I've been studying human nature my whole life, man. I know quite a bit about it. And I'm telling you what they're saying about all this virus medical issue is just, it's irrational. You know, it's just telling the human race to just do what I say because I say it is unacceptable from anybody. And so, you know, this is the land of the free and we should keep it that way. And uh, we should, as a matter of fact, we should make the whole entire planet Earth the land of the free. You know, we, we let this totalitarianism fester anywhere in the world and, you know, it comes, it, it, it just metastasizes. We have to completely eliminate it from the face of the Earth. There's no tyrants allowed, no bullies allowed anywhere on earth. Here I am heading, and now I've, I'm kind of taking care of my business and I'm heading back out to back home. I live in Skyway, which is on the edge of Seattle, and uh, which is a cool name. I like that name, Skyway. And, uh, you know, now I'm walking back out. I kind of noticed, I figured out that I was holding the camera wrong, so I'm now instead of holding it too high, I'm holding it just a little bit too low, you know. But I, I get better. I'm learning. I, I learned, but I got a lot of practice. Right now what I'm learning is the, uh, the sound, the audio track, and learning how to adjust that correct, the best way. You know, we got to make these cities, We you know, architecture is an art. It, it's art. Look, at, I, to me, the cities are beautiful. I'm from Wyoming. The town I went to high school in had a population of 110. It's a little village up in the mountains, surrounded by huge, you know, 13,000 foot mountains. And, you know, you know, and so I, that's what I grew up in. And I, I'm, and I came down out of the hills. I guess you could say I'm a Highlander. You know, only see. First, we were Highlanders, then we were hillbillies, and now we're mountain men from the Rocky Rocky Mountains. You know, the Absaroka Range and the Bighorn Mountains. And uh, Prior Mountain was the little one, but it was still big. It was still a big blue mountain, but it was only about nine thousand feet. So that was when we we were right at the foot of that mountain but we could see the bighorn mountains just kind of loomed over the whole bighorn basin and then the abzaroka mountains were off to the west beautiful beautiful place if you ever get a chance go to the bighorn basin check out cody wyoming and drive around in there it's just it's absolutely gorgeous and now I, I moved to cities i lived in denver for 16 years now i live in seattle i've lived here for nine years and I like it, you know, I, I complain all the time. I complain no matter where I'm at, I complain. But I'm, you know, I, I like living in the city and uh, I'm hoping I can figure out a way to make money with this website, you know, because there's other websites I want to make that are more oriented. I'd like to do a world, one world news website. And I'd also like to do one about that's focused on recovery and you know from drug addiction and any other things like that you know traumas any kind of trauma that people experience in life and help them you know homeless pe homelessness and tr try to help people be productive prosperous citizens and uh, you know that's what uh, my plan is and and the home office one was always kind of planned on being the big money-making one. You know, I could make money. If I could get this one to make money, then I could. I wouldn't have to worry about money on the other two. And then one of the things I learned from working on this website is that making one website is a lot of work. You know, you got to learn how to do, you know, cPanel and WordPress and you know uh, KDN live and uh, all your pictures and videos and 
Krita and Linux and KDE and there's just, just so much to learn. C, C++, you know, learning how to do all that stuff. It, it's a fun, you know, it's like a complicated puzzle, you know, you got to figure out and get all the pieces to fit together. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just trying to learn how to do this, and it's fun. Right now, I'm making some audio to go along with this video. I'm watching the video right now. I'm not really doing a very good job of talking about it, but, you know, the video speaks for itself. It's just a beautiful city, you know, and I want to encourage everybody, come on, let's get, let's make this work. You know, let's not you know, throw, you know, I don't want to have to ruin everything and then start all over again. Let's make what we got work. Let's improve what we got. I'm not saying we, we got, we've made a lot of progress and we have a lot of progress to make. And let's, so let's keep making progress, you know, and so let's get this place safe. Let's get together, talk it out and, and you know, work together. You know, all the everybody on Earth, the whole entire planet Earth, the whole entire human race, and the whole planet Earth, and let's we got the, you know, I'm I'm a nationalist and a globalist. I like the United States is my favorite country. I read the, the founding fathers of the United States are pretty. They're, they're really my my parents because my parents were busy drinking when I was a kid. Yeah, so they were partying. My whole life was a party when I started out. And, you know, but the founding fathers of the United States, their writings, what they wrote about, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Federalist Papers, those are, that's where I learned my value. So I, I really like the United States, but I also like the United Nations. You know, to me, the United Nations is like the USA 2.0. And I know, I suppose other countries may not like that, but I do. I, I think the, we, the United Nations needs the United States to be in there standing up for, you know, democracy and human rights and capitalism. You know, capitalism is private property. Private property is a universal human right. You know, it, it is now and it will be for a long time. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's going to always be that way, but it is now, and and, and it should be. And um, we need to respect people's private property, and um, keep working on uh, making a sustainable civilization. You know, a safe, clean, and decent neighborhood. And you know, and let's, let's get together and work on this and. You know, right now I'm just kind of working on, you know, I got all this interesting stuff going on. I had, I kind of had to get rid of the audio because it, I, it's all messed up. So I just have to start over from scratch without any audio, you know, and I, I use this story that I'm telling to be the audio. It's probably not all that great. You know, because I'm just talking. You know, what I'm trying to say is that, that I like telling stories. I'm a storyteller. I want to be a professional storyteller. And I'm not sure I'm doing such a great job. But the main thing is keep working. You know, keep working on improving yourself and making the world a better place. Keep, um, we've got, uh, a beautiful civilization here and it's going to be all of us working together to make it sustainable keep it here keep it going and um, it's pretty weird you know it's really kind of interesting you know seattle is not very busy right now it's very quiet we're coming up on a sad part of seattle right here where, you know, I, you know, the riot, there was no, there in 2020, there was no peaceful protest in Seattle on 2020. There was a violent insurrection against the United States. It was a, it was an attack, a communist attack against the United States. And, and it's a serious 
issue and we need to take care of it. And I, it's, I'm not apologizing. I believe that it's one thing we, we got to fix. That's not un, totally unacceptable for anybody to destroy anybody else's property, you know, or be a bully, you know, telling anybody, controlling anybody, you know. You know, they're just building a city, you know. They're cleaning it up. We're making progress, you know. It's not too bad, you know. I mean, right now we're kind of in the Cold War, you know. We were in a, back in 2020, it was pretty hot. It was a hot war, and it was violent. You know, all the stores were boarded up. You know, now a few of them are, but most of them aren't. And uh, we need to fix that. You know, and that's serious business, man. I'm, you know, I'm nobody. I'm just some individual out here kind of practically on the verge of homelessness myself. You know, hopefully it won't come to that. But, you know, I've got to figure out a way to earn income. I'm hoping making these videos will help. And I'll be able to figure out a way to get paid for teaching people how to be productive. You know, it's up to us. Nobody's going to do it for us. You know, we got to produce something valuable and trade it in our uh, one universal commonwealth. That's what it is. You know, this civilization on earth. You know, have you looked at all these cities like over there in China? You know, every big city over there in China looks like Las Vegas times a thousand, you know. And then you got uh, Tokyo with 38 million people living in one city. Jeez, can you imagine that? Wow. And and it's the same everywhere. You know, they're building a new city over there in uh, Lagos, Nigeria, off the coast of Lagos, where they, you know, took built a wall out in the ocean and filled up the land behind it and built a whole, they're, they're building a brand new downtown business district in Lagos, Nigeria. You know, in Cairo, they're building a brand new downtown business district in Cairo, Egypt. You know, so the we are making progress. We're making good progress. You know, and everybody is so angry. And I'm saying, hey, what are you, what are you complaining about? We live in the richest, greatest civilization in human history. And it's great. You know, it's a great civilization. You know, it's fun. You know, and we should be playing and having fun and being friendly and nice to each other and and keep uh, doing that, you know, and keep making it a safe, clean, and decent neighborhood for the whole entire human race. Take care of those kids. Make sure them kids are safe. That's like the number one priority. The number one priority is one common faith of all mankind. You know, faith in God. You know, that's the number one priority of all human nation. A life on earth. That's the number one priority of life on earth. It's the one common faith of all mankind. And, uh, you know, and we, we just keep working on it and keep getting better and growing, learning and growing. And, uh, you know, and I, that's what I say, you know, learn these uh Build yourself a free enterprise. Start with C and start learning about, first of all, start with a C panel and, and on Bluehost or some other company if you'd rather have a different company, but Bluehost is one good one. And then use WordPress to get started. You know, Start building a WordPress website and start putting up pictures and writing stories and making videos and make your own website and then you kind of complement that with the uh, other places i've been using i just started using rumble i switched over from you know i was using another company now i'm using rumble and um that's what we're doing you know keep doing keep building you know creating art creativity you know creativity is the one unified field, you know, is creativity. That's it. The whole entire universe is made out of creativity. Creativity is the most primal instinct 
of not only human nature, but all nature. Not only life, not just life, life, definitely life, but the universe. The yin and yang, you know, creativity is, you know, the two, there's a, the yin and the yang of creativity is, you could say, love and appetite, or you could say attraction. And, and, um, attraction and, uh, what was the other one? Attraction and, um, not, not, it's not the opposite. It's attraction and, anyway, you know, there's a yin and there's a yang. There's, there's the love and then there's the appetite. You know, there's attraction and it's not repulsion. It's, it's attraction and something else. But, you know, the yin and yang of physics, of, you know, the, the, the super strings vibrate. The vibration of the singer's super strings is the boundary between yin and yang. Okay, and that is called, you know, it's called attraction and radiance. Okay, that's, th those are the yin and yang of creativity. And the radiance is, this, you know, shining out in, in radiance, you know, and then the, the sunshine, and then the, the gravity, you know, and how they interact with, you know, the gravity pulls material in, and it, radiates you know and so and they're all they're all it's all interdependent you know the yin and the yang you can't have yin without yang you know but it's all creativity creativity is the one unified field and it's the most primal instinct of all life including human life and and so and what i'm trying to teach you to do is exercise your creativity and practice you know creating art whatever your art is whatever your skill is be creative be productive you know it's not so much about receiving and getting you know life on earth isn't about what you can get it's about what you can give what you can produce and add value to society you know add value to human civilization you know and that's what this all that you know that's how civilization is built you know you get some good leaders and some people and they're all teamwork you know they work as a team and they build a civilization and then what happens the pattern is is that people the kids after a few generations the kids that, that they've it's been civilized the whole time and they've never known what it's like to have to work to build a civilization, you know, and they, they get complacent and they think they're entitled to the civilizing, the benefits of civilization. And then they get, you know, and they, they don't have to follow those rules, you know, the, the rules that the people followed to create the civilization, they, you know, those are old fashioned that we don't need to follow those rules. And they start doing that and abandoning those principles and the civilization disintegrates. It's happened over and over and over throughout human history, every single time. Okay, and that this time that will not happen. You know, there will be one civilization that will last for from now on, and it's just like a kid learning how to ride a bike. We're learning how to do civilization and how not to do it. You know, how not to fall over. And so we're gonna do that we're building a new global civilization that includes the whole entire human race right here on earth right now and and um so we're you're you're building your civilization and uh i got my 38 minute warning so it should start a new video automatically you know if that's what it has done in the past. It just started the new video automatically. So I'm, this will be divided into two videos, which is, shouldn't have any effect at all. And, um, but just uh, create, you know, create your art. Take, find your, 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 what you like to do. Because a lot of people would rather work in the team and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's a, another lot of people that don't do very well in teams, 
you know, they got bad tempers, they got, you know, they're not very good working with other people, and they just like working by themselves more, writers and stuff like that. And, uh, and I'm trying to, you know, that's the group I like, because that's kind of the way I am, you know, I'm a good worker, and I get good jobs, and I do a good job, and then after a long time, I just kind of lose everything and I'm tired of that and so I've been trying to start this business to uh, help as many people as I can you know I always figure if you want to solve the problem of income inequality the way to do that is to uh, teach poor people how to make money you know that's what I'm trying to do is teach poor people. I'm trying to learn how to make money and teach people how to make money, teach poor people how to make money. And I, we are up against some certain other people, the people that already have the money. See, what happens is people get an advantage. You know, they work hard and they do something good and valuable and they get an advantage over other people. And they should be using that advantage to help other people, but a lot of people use it to increase their advantage and then it just kind of spirals out of control and and that's uh you know we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out you know just keep working on improving yourself and serving other people and helping other people and not being greedy and selfish selfish ambition is the dark side of human nature you know so um, beware of that don't do that you know the main thing you need to be aware of is God, because God makes the rules. He, he makes the rules, and, you know, you need to be aware of, of God, because, believe it or not, God makes the rules. And he's making, you know, and he's the, the civilization, uh, you know, he, he, that's really the, what God does, is make the rules. And the whole entire universe is evolving according to the rules made by God. And, you know... That's just the way it is, and it always will be that way, you know. And he created this universe. He created life on Earth. You know, Earth generates life naturally. It's any any planet that is has any, you know, the certain circumstances exist anywhere in the universe automatically generates life. You know, that's just the way the chemistry of the universe. And so that's what we're doing, and we're part of that. I'm sure there's other civilizations. They've probably been watching us for a long time. We're the little kids growing up, and we're just about ready to make the jump to light speed. And they're kind of checking us out, you know. And once we make that jump to light speed, we'll be part of the neighborhood, you know. And uh, But just keep working and uh, keep building your own holistic home office. Working, you know, that's what I want to do. Be an artist. A storyteller, you know, I keep calling myself a shaman. I'm a shaman, you know, because, you know, I don't know. You know, I went to school to be a drug rehab counselor. This is really weird, man. I went to Idaho State University to be a drug rehab counselor. And they were teaching me about this power differential that, that you know, my education would make me so smart that I would be able to, I wouldn't be able to be friends with my patients because I had a power differential over them. And I'm like, oh, what? I don't want, that's not what I believe in. I'm not, I don't even want to learn that. And I left, I got out of there because I, to me, that's corruption. That's not healing. That's actually a mental illness. Thinking you're more or less important than somebody else's is, is uh, that's corruption. That's the nature of sin. That's what sin is, is thinking you're more or less important than somebody else. You know, so, no, I don't, no. And, you know, and then I never, you know, I knew it was bad. It was bad. I thought what they were teaching in that school was like, are you crazy? You know, and I got out of there and I, and I started getting into computer science because I didn't want to get in trouble for trying to practice medicine without a license or anything like that. And, uh, but... I never in my wildest imaginations thought that they would come after me. I'm not even trying to practice medicine. But they're still after me and saying, oh, you got to I'm going to order you to take medicine. You, ha I, I, you have to take medicine. 
I already got all the medicine I need. I take medicine that I learned and I studied and learned and did my own research and found out what's the best way, the natural health. I take care of myself. I eat good, healthy food. I take supplements and I do I do certain things. And other than that, if I get sick and die, then that that's life on earth, you know? And doctors, they have valuable knowledge and experience. You know, their, their education is valuable. I'm not trying to say it's not. But what I am saying is that that education should include the concept that all men are created equal. You know, we didn't get rid of the king just to have doctors tell us what to do. You know, the doctors need to recognize that respect. The doctors need to respect the equality of all the people. And they're not doing that right now. And they've created this gigantic state has has is way, way out of line. I can't believe this is happening in the United States of America. You know, and they've they're way they've stepped way over the line. You know, we got all these they've been working for the government their whole life. They they get a job when they're twenty something and they just work for the government and they just think they were born to rule. And no, that's not how it works, not, not anymore. And so I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope, I hope we can get through this as peacefully. You know, peacefully and prosperously, that's what I want. I, I, I like our civilization. I want to improve our civilization, not tear it down. You know, that's what I'm talking about. I want to improve our civilization. And what I get, there's a lot of different sort forces are trying to tear it down and I'm I'm not for that. I, I I like the United States. I want the United States to prosper and I want the United Nations to prosper. The United Nations is the richest greatest civilization in human history. And we need to participate in that and we need to make it work. It's a good idea. You read the charter of the United Nations there there's no it's not it's just a the rule of law is, you know, freedom is lawful, not lawless, okay? And that's what, so we made some rules, okay, here we gathered together and we agreed, okay, these are going to be the rules. They made some rules, they're pretty reasonable rules, they're made by man, so they're not perfect or anything like that, and they, you know, there's a way to amend the rules if something is not working, you can, there's a process that you go through to change the rules. And, and we just keep working and keep doing it. That's how to make this, you know, peaceful, prosperous world, you know, human race. That's what I want to do. And all the people that are trying to tear it down are just, I don't, I think they're bad guys, but I don't know. Maybe we're the bad guys. Maybe the, I don't know. Because I know the United Nations, there's a lot, and, and there's a lot of other people that are trying to get control of the United Nations and use it for, you know, dishonorable purposes. And that's bad. That's all just as bad as trying to tear the thing down. You know, they're all, it's like evil versus evil. You know, so there's the end of the video. What do you know? Okay, all right, so, uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, that's enough, you know. The United Nations is a great civilization, you know. We need God to make the rules, and we need to have one global civilization, one global federation of space, you know, one global space-faring federation of self-governing nations, go, you know, growing from now on. You know, that's what we need to keep working on. It's a good good idea. And, uh, you know, let's keep it going. Let's get it, you know, let's make it, let's do the next, whatever the next level is, you know, keep making it better. Let's just, you know, the next, you know, it's going to be fun, man. It's fun. Life on Earth is an adventure. So have a great day and peace be with you. And, <laughs>